I've talked on the channel, guys, about how long your Tesla battery will last, depending if it's a lithium-ion phosphate battery or a 2170-4680 cell battery. However, no one has been talking about how long the batteries in your Volkswagen EV will last. Now, a lot of people have Volkswagen EVs. The third highest selling EV brand in the world. Well, sort of, anyway. But how long will the battery pack in your Volkswagen EV last? Now, I'm not just talking about Volkswagen brand here. I'm talking about Skoda, Seat, all the other Cooper, all the other Volkswagen Group brands, including Audi. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you guys. Welcome back, everyone else. The Volkswagen ID3. It's, um, in my opinion, expensive. Now, here's my point for why I think it's expensive. It's $16,000 in China. The same exact car costs around $35,000 everywhere else. Now, we're talking US dollars here, guys. But that's the approximate price. That's just too much of a difference. More than double. I, I think that's just too excessive. You know, maybe if the difference was, say, 40 40 or 50 percent but more than double anyway i believe that's one of the key reasons why volkswagen groups order books have begun to shrink people are just moving away they're buying evs from other brands because yeah they're too expensive but anyway if you bought an id3 or an id4 an id5 an id buzz an id whatever uh, or any other volkswagen group ev whether that's an audi e-tron or something else like that then it's really interesting to know what you should expect in terms of battery life. My personal opinion is you should expect them to last a very, very long time, a lot more than 10 years for the average driver. Now, new battery packs with actual battery management module software, they last pretty long now. They last for quite a long time, even if they're not lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, Volkswagen have begun using LFP batteries in some of their cars, but almost no one who owns those cars yet. That's a fairly new advent. So. Most of these cars are, in fact, about 98% of EV owners right now are using Volkswagen lithium ternary battery packs. Now, who makes these batteries? Well, a lot of them are made by LG Cam, some of them are made by Samsung SDI, but primarily it's LG Cam batteries in the Volkswagen Group EVs. But they do have other brands that supply them as well. It depends on what country you're buying your EV in. However, Germany's ADAC testers are expedited the ID3's 100,000 kilometer journey by frequently fully charging it at fast stations, which is contrary to recommendation. So when you buy one of these EVs, you really want to not fast charge it if you can avoid it. It doesn't really hurt the battery too much, not as much as people think, but in terms of longevity, it's still better if you slow charge it at home. So better to charge at home if you can. However, there is one thing you shouldn't do regularly, which is charge to 100% because they're not LFP battery packs. You only want to charge to 80% if you can avoid it. Charging to 90%, that's better than 100%, right, guys? So if you need to charge, if you need to do a long-range journey every now and again, charging to 100% is okay. But it's just not recommended that you go above 80% on a regular basis. So what they've done is charge it to 100% using fast charges for 100,000 kilometers to see what the battery degradation would be. It's pretty good. This is 62,000 miles. After 62,000 miles of relatively harsh treatment, the ID3 battery on test here had 93% capacity, which is amazing. Now, to be fair, the, this data here is not really indicative of what's going to happen to you long term. It's only 100,000 kilometers. It's really not enough to give us an idea. But for example, you can join the Tesla High Mileage Club, and you, you can see a lot of owners there have posted what they've been able to do, some of them have done 600,000, 700,000 kilometers, or you know, 400 plus thousand miles on the same battery pack on newer Tesla EVs, such as Model 3s and Model Ys. They're getting a lot of range. And we can see how much battery degradation they've got left in them, because owners will often say what the battery degradation is. But Volkswagen ID3, for most people, is a relatively new car. So there's not a lot of people with Volkswagen EVs that can say, hey, my battery degradation is this. But my point is here, I think most new cars have fairly good and low percentage of battery degradation after you've driven them for, you know, 100,000 to 200,000 kilometers. 
because they now have some pretty good battery management software. As a result of this testing, the organization that does the testing say they have no doubts about the durability of the Volkswagen Group's electric cars. They also congratulate the brand for advertising the net capacity of their batteries, not the gross capacity. I agree, that's a good thing to do. Volkswagen mentions the net capacity, not the gross capacity. So gross capacity is a reference to say the literal size of the battery pack, but no one ever, no brand will ever allow you to use the entire gross capacity because if you do, battery degradation is much faster. If you have a buffer in the battery pack, then your battery pack will last a lot longer. Generally, if you have a smaller buffer, which is what Toyota have done recently, they've made their buffer smaller to get more range out of the same battery pack in order to kind of make it look like their EVs are getting the range that they were claiming they were getting because of all the controversy. So it's what Toyota did. They basically reduced the buffer. You're going to get more battery degradation if you've got a smaller buffer. So Volkswagen's ID3 battery pack, this model that was tested, is an 82 kilowatt hour size pack. It's a very big battery, and it's one of the reasons why the ID3 is quite heavy. Now, some of the other reasons include the way it's manufactured. But anyway, automakers combat this buffer issue by building. Automakers are able to combat the issue of battery degradation by building a buffer into their batteries to prevent drivers from using a certain amount of their capacity. So the actual usable capacity of this EV, the ID3, is 77 kilowatt hours. The gross capacity is 82. So five kilowatt hours of this battery you can't use. A five kilowatt hour battery is actually massive. That's a pretty big battery. So, so basically around 7% of the battery pack in this car is a buffer which is really interesting to know these numbers. So the feedback for the ID3 they tested here, the battery was positive, but however, ADAC, the company that tests these batteries, do say, well, they've got some things that they believe you need to look at. They recommend that you need to stay current with Volkswagen Group's over-the-air updates, and now, do they do literal over-the-air updates? Usually not, usually you've got to go to the dealership for Volkswagen so-called over-the-air updates. Anyway, make sure you do that. Go to your dealer, because there has been some changes to battery management software and other things to fix some little gremlins in some cars. The organization said that Volkswagen's improvements have increased charging power, made the powertrain more efficient, and elongated the ID3's range in colder seasons while the car was in its possession. So in other words, they're saying Volkswagen have improved their EVs through software changes. And you can actually go get those software changes made to your car. Generally, not all of them, but some of them can. However, what's going to happen now? The company with this EV that tests these EVs, they're going to test the car until it reaches 99,420 miles or 160,000 kilometers. So basically 100,000 miles. When the warranty runs out, we'll be able to see how the battery pack goes and when it's done more range. So they're gonna keep us updated on what actually happens to this battery pack. That'll be quite interesting. Now, I've actually been on some Volkswagen Group forums after reading this information, and I've seen that this is about average, about the average degradation on a battery pack. It's around 10% after you've done approximately 62,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers. So 10%, I think that's actually a pretty decent number. What would be your battery degradation after say 200,000 miles, so 320,000 kilometers? Will your battery pack still be going? Yes, actually, yes. There is quite a few people who have done that distance. Well, not quite a few, but there's a few people that have done this distance. Battery degradation by that stage is dropping to closer to 65 to 75%, depending on how you drive the car. So you still got a lot of battery capacity left, I mean, not all of it, but 65 to 75%. And the battery packs has been some batteries that have had to be replaced by that stage in time. But generally, that hasn't been the case. What does that mean? Well, it means that Volkswagen's EVs usually appear to be lasting quite a bit longer than the Volkswagen Group's internal combustion engine vehicles, which, to be honest, are rife with quality problems and issues with engines and all kinds of things. I've owned one. I know other people that have owned older Volkswagens. They have a lot of gremlins, put it that way. So Volkswagen Group EV, uh, one of Volkswagen Group vehicle that's gonna last longer, get an electric one. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.